Sagittarius. Welcome to your new moon in Pisces reading. If you're new to my channel, I am Sam and welcome. Please subscribe, hit like and share. Um, that way you'll continue to get notifications of all the readings that I'm posting, but also it'll help my channel grow. And for everyone that has done so, has done it, you know, already and left me messages of encouragement and um, just about the situations that you were going through, you know, thank you so much, guys. I greatly appreciate it. I did do the March, the beginning of March 2022 readings. I will leave the link below for you if you haven't seen that already. And we did just get through the 22222 portal. So if you believe that you're going through the Twin Flame journey, you might want to go to my page and click on that reading um, because it was beautiful. It's about to, you know, the, it's about reuniting with your Twin Flame. Okay. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the new moon. Choosing your path. All is possible. And at the bottom, reaching your destination, your light is shining brightly. Look at that castle. I love that. It's like once you are on your right path, you're going to shine. Because you finally know what you were meant to do in this life. See what else comes out. Okay. Sagittarius. Oh, popped right out. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. See what else? Because I didn't even really get. Okay. Enchanting gifts. Or enchanting. Exchanging gifts. I still have the um, castle on my mind. Could be enchanting, but exchanging gifts. 27. 9 could be 333. Three, three. A leg up. So it's almost like you're. Uh, basically, you're in control. You might be offering support to someone else. Somebody might be coming towards you to give you a gift. I'm going to pull an animal spirit. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus during the new moon energy in Pisces. During the new moon in Pisces. Hmm. What wants to come out? Koi fish spirit. There, there is always enough. 36. Another card of nine. Pay attention to repeating threes this month. Lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. Card of 11. Well, 38, 11. All right, guys. There is always enough. You might have, I don't know why, you might have, that, that just, just came to me. You might have an aquarium. You might have these fish outside. Maybe you have a, a pond outside in your yard. If you're from where I am, it's probably frozen over at the top, but I believe they go below for warmth. Current situation for Sagittarius during this new moon process. 
hate this part. You guys might be working on your finances. You're probably focused on your career and finances at the time. What is crossing Sagittarius? What is crossing Sagittarius? You might be starting a brand new job that's going to offer stability, bring in more money. Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom, so you might be get, given a grounded offer. You might be proceeding with like something that you have a passion for, you know, like tarot card reading or tarot card readers or starting your own um, small business, whether through like Etsy or, you know, Shopify. But it's something that is going to bring you abundance. You know, you're going to, it's going to bring in the savings that you want, the savings that you need. Let's see what else. What is grounding Sagittarius during the new year? Thank you, Spirit. Your ships are coming in. You might have already started this new endeavor. Might be bringing all the blessings that you hoped would come with it. What is crowning Sagittarius? Fell on the floor. Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning in your favor. You may, might be working on a few things. But the wheel is here. So it's part of your journey. It's part of your destiny. You might have been maybe thinking of a few, a few things that you wanted to start on. What is in the past for Sagittarius? The sun. You know what? Maybe in spirit giving you the sign to proceed with your dreams. It's like you were feeling stuck in a situation, maybe in a job that you, you know, you felt like you weren't benefit, benefiting yourself, benefiting anyone by being there. You wanted to start on a brand new idea, a brand new, like I said, a brand new quest. It's going to bring you in the money, the stability, what you were looking for. You have a passion for this, but it's like you were in your head about it. You just didn't know which way to go. And maybe that offer comes in, but it's almost like spirit is waking you up. Like you can succeed at anything. You might be going into business with a fire sign, maybe a Leo. What is in the future for Sagittarius? What is in the future? Page of Wands. A brand new idea. There's definitely fire here and you're a fire sign. So it's like... You have a perfect idea, a brand new idea, and spirit has been telling you to go for it. What is Sagittarius' energy in this situation? Okay, thanks, spirit. You want to rush in and make this work. Could be on the internet. All right. What is in the environment? King of Wands, another sign of Leo. Sagittarius, you right, you might be working with a Leo, or there maybe there's a Leo or a fire sign Leo specifically around you that's gonna help you with this.
hopes and fears. Definitely air energy, but it's like, I just feel like you're, men you're you've mentally in the head space that you need to be for this. You know, it's like, with like, it, it's like you, you're probably in your head about pursuing this. But you're definitely in the right capacity, mental capacity, to start this. It's going to be a wish fulfillment for you. It's like spirit has been talking to you. You were wishing on a star, maybe, to give you clarity on pursuing this. There's no cups here, so I don't feel like it's about love. I really feel like it's something regarding your finances. And I'm going to definitely... Um, Clarify, what is the overall outcome for Sagittarius in this situation? Overall outcome for Sagittarius in this situation. It's going to allow you time to, re to rest, relax. It's going to bring you that abundant home life. Whether you have children or not. You might have, looks like a yellow lab. You might have a dog. But it's going to give you that time to like do the things that you want to do. Relax. Give you more time for yourself. And give you that grounded, that's what you, that, that's what the whole situation is like the savings, the wanting to move you know, further along with your finances and you're going to have that in the end. You might have been juggling a few things. Could have been an idea that you had in the past. It's the same lab in, in, in that card. Maybe the person that wants to work on it with you is somebody from the past. I'm going to clarify this. I have to. There's three different. There's King of Swords. King of Wands. And Knight of Swords. So we're going to clarify this energy. the four of pentacles here with the ace of wands thank you spirit oh look eight of cups is in the wrong deck it might be something that you did walk away from to start something new four of wands it's going to bring that stability within your home life Five of coins, feeling left out in the cold, feeling sad, feeling like you, like, remember, there's always enough. Feeling like, you know, like the five of pentacles is not much. It's sad. It's feeling isolated. But whatever this brand new idea is that you have that you're going to pursue, it's going to bring this. It's like the 1111 card. It's going to bring that grounded home. Why is the Three of Wands what's grounding Sagittarius? Three of Swords. Like I said before, remember, pay attention to threes. Three of Wands, Three of Swords. All right, guys. Coming clean is at the bottom. There might be somebody that's cut, that's been holding back that wants to come forward. Definitely could be a fellow fire sign, but they want that stable environment with you 
and they have hurt you in the past. They're making a plan to come towards you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune drowning? Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here with me with this? Yeah, there was something that was over, but it's not over for good. The wheel's turning in your favor. Your wishes are being granted. I feel like something is coming back around. Something is not over, but Sagittarius, I don't feel like you want it to be over. Why is the sun here? For the past. Why is the sun in the past position? Why is the sun in the past position? Oh. Too many cards for me to pop out. I'm going to go with these and then we'll see. There's patience that you're having with something. You're dedicated on making it work. There's been healing here. If what's grounding you was the three of swords, the three of wands and the three of swords, there's something that hurt you that you're healing from. Let's see what else came out. Yeah. You worked, you worked on making yourself abundant. With whatever caused you emotional pain, you rose up from that and you worked on yourself in the interim. Why is the Page of Wands in the future? Two of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, guys, somebody coming queens at the bottom again. The Page of Wands is clarified by the Two of Cups. Somebody wants to come back towards you. And they want to have a fresh start. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay. There's the sun again. You have the sun twice. So Sagittarius, whatever it is in this reading that resonates with you, Spirit is telling you everything is going to be okay. Your happy times are, it's going to turn for you. Whatever the situation is that caused you pain, because you worked on yourself and you became abundant, you worked on your finances, you created that stable environment for yourself, you overcame, you took action, you overcame the battles, and now look. It's like you're shining to everyone. Why is the King of Wands in the environment? Why is the King of Wands in the environment? And this wanted to come out before, but it didn't flip over. There's somebody that has passion for you, Sagittarius, masculine or feminine. But they've all, they've too also have worked on themselves and their pentacles. They've also worked on their finances. They're they're coming in abundant this time. I don't know if it's somebody from the past. It, this could be a brand new person that has their eye on you. Something that you hurt from, something that you rose up from. And you're having a passionate new beginning. There's somebody that has feelings for you, Sagittarius. And they're coming in grounded. Why is King of Swords in hopes and fears? Why is the King of Swords in hopes and fears?
Okay, now look. This could be taken as the twin flame card, the lovers, the divine union, divine masculine, divine feminine. The normal tarot was the devil with that. It's like a, a noose around two people and this unbreakable bond between them. Sometimes it can be toxic. Sometimes it can be smothering. You know, sometimes it can be that you scare each other off because you don't know what it is, like the, what these feelings are that you're feeling. But there's going to be a victory here. I believe both of you had to become mentally strong for you to come to this union. But you overcame like you could have been with somebody that had um, addictions that had like a darkness about them, that had like a sadness about them. But they are becoming mentally strong. And this might even be you, Sagittarius. There might have been a time that you just felt so burdened and so like stuck from some situation, but you're overcoming it. You're becoming mentally strong. And why is the overall outcome the Four of Swords or the Ten of Pentacles? Why is the overall outcome the Four of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles? Because you made a plan and you moved out of what had you feeling stagnant. You went within. You became stronger minded. Yeah, and there's that six of cups. You became stronger minded about something that had you feel unburdened. You might have needed to be through certain struggles and cert certain heartbreak. But it was maybe because that wasn't the right person from you, for you. And I believe somebody from the past is coming in. They could have been by your side the entire time. I believe it's like you finally realizing what someone is to, towards you. It could be a fellow fire sign that's close to you, but I feel like it's something that was like a friendship. They helped you along the way. They, hurt, they helped you through your hurt. And now you realize that you have this connection with them. I'm going to pull a romance card. I'm not doing it for all the readings. I'm pretty much only doing it for the ones that turn out about love. Because I want to see if it brings more clarity. Choosing your path. All is possible. It's like you went down a path where you had your heart broken. And now you're setting it right. And you're going towards... You're going down the path that puts you to your twin flame. You might have been addicted to things that you needed to overcome. Can we please have clarity? Yeah, codependent. Addictions are affecting your love life. Can we please have another card for Sagittarius? It's like spirit was telling me right on the money. You might have been in a relationship that was completely codependent. But remember, you got out of that. You became abundant within yourself. It was a near miss opportunity, but because you worked on yourself, your wishes are coming true. It's going to align you with the person that you need to be with. And you're going to have this intense chemistry with them. I have to get more clarity. Can you please clarify Sagittarius is really giving me new places? Sagittarius is reading. The snowflake wanted to come out, so this could be happening if you're if it's winter time for you. This one wants to come out waterfall, overflowing abundance. Let's see if it comes out. I'm gonna do 
do one more shuffle. All right, guys, a few came out. A few. Look at this. Celtic knot. Unconditional love. Legendary. Divine union. Eternal love. All right, let's see what popped out for you. These were the first two. Clock. Perfect timing, Sagittarius. Choose your path. All is possible. Perfect timing. Spirit is telling you it's time. It might happen in the spring because of this bouquet here, but also that snowflake wanted to come out. So for some of you, it might be happening if you're in winter time now, it might be happening very soon or winter for whenever, for wherever you're at listening to this, but it might also be happening in the, in the spring. Happy, harmony, beauty, cre creative, a gift, art, reconciliation. Tree, grounded, fertility, lineage, health. It wasn't, hold on. Yeah, one leg up. Remember one leg up came with exchanging gifts? It, it was you, you needed all this personal growth. Because you worked on yourself, Sagittarius, and you became grounded. That's why this reconciliation is happening for some of you. For others of you, I really believe it could be somebody new completely coming in because you leveled up, stork transformation, change, active, exactly what I just said, you leveled up. But look, it might have been both of you. Remember the king of wands and the king of coins? It's like a passion for you in the environment. Someone around you has passion for you, but they're coming in abundant also. Practical, grounded. Solid, dutiful, measured, dependable. That's what's coming in. Look, two birds again. Deeply committed. Uncommon bonds. Family. That's where like that devil card comes in. Like you've got this bond. And look, there's a little, there's two. You might have a child with this person in the future. You might have a child with them now, but there's this little duck in between the two of them. Illness, fatigue, stress, anxiety. I feel like this is what it caused for the, per for the people that it's somebody coming back from the past. Oh boy, Sagittarius, this is intense. I'm gonna pull one more card for clarity. It's the Romance Oracle. Let's see what comes out with this. One last message for Sagittarius for the new moon energy. All right. Look at this. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So the advice I'm going to leave you on, let me see what, this one was at the bottom. Transformation. Yeah, both of you had a trait. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. When you guys have this reconciliation, for who would this resonates with? Sagittarius, remember why you're being why you're being given the second chance remember what brought you to this person the first time remember the feeling that you had inside when you met this person for the first time bring those feelings into the reconciliation All right sagittarius so check your rising moon and Venus sign for clarity, for additional readings, um, for additional messages. If I haven't posted it yet for the new moon, 
meaning your rising moon and Venus, they will be coming. But I've, with you being done, I've com completed, completed the fire signs and I have done um, Libra. And I believe I'm going to do Gemini after you. So if it, you have earth in your chart or you have more um, or water in your chart, give me a couple of days and they will be up. Okay, guys. So if you're new, please subscribe and hit like. Let me know how it resonates. I will send you healing energy if you need. I will send you positive energy for this reconciliation. Just let me know and I will, I will be on it very quickly for you. Okay? Love and light, guys. Take care and be safe. Bye.